All right, let's talk about the beautiful Port Pirie right now. This is a magnificent part of Australia. Again, it's so cool to be here at Sporties. We're going to celebrate tonight with... Uh, Everything from local kids to local legends. And Danica De Giorgio tells you the story about how this part of Australia is absolutely fundamental in us being able to deal with the rest of the world and, frankly, pay for our budgets. It is the heart of the town for employment and for economy. It revolves around the smelter. This is arguably the most important structure in Port Pirie. Neostar's Smelter, located on the river in the Upper Spencer Gulf, you cannot underestimate its importance to the town. Port Pirie would probably be a fishing village without the, without the smelter. Um, you know, 90% or so, of the, I'd imagine, of the workforce live in the town. There's, there's very little fly-in, fly-out. Dale Afford got his first job at the smelter just before his 16th birthday and has watched the operation grow into what it is now. It's been running for more than a century and is one of the largest smelters in the world. It produces a number of metals, mainly lead and silver, to export nationwide. There's battery companies within Australia that use the lead and uh, tubing companies within Australia that use the copper and then a lot of the uh, acid is used within Australia for the fertiliser. They don't call this the city of opportunity for nothing. The smelter employs over 800 people and 300 contractors. It's the lifeblood of the town. Port Pirie holds a special place in Australia's resourcing history. And what better way to learn more about its industries than by road? The Heritage Rail Trail is a 400 kilometre journey from Broken Hill in New South Wales to Port Pirie and vice versa. It leads you through 14 towns and follows the remains of an historic railway line. We thought we'd check out part of it. The Broken Hill to Port Pirie rail line helped transform Australia into an industrial economy in the late 1800s and early 1900s. It transported silver, lead and zinc from the BHP mining operation in Broken Hill to ships in Port Pirie. The problem was how to get it from the outback to the rest of the world, hence the trail. We have just arrived in Crystal Brook, the first town on the trail after Port Pirie. It was about a 25 minute drive, but we want to know why this trail is so significant. So let's investigate its history. It enabled a lot of people to move to the Broken Hill area very rapidly. People from Adelaide could then go up and within a year or two there, there were thousands and thousands of people there so then that created the need for laundries, pubs, um, all of the things that go with the town and then the infrastructure followed. Christine Schoff is an historical archaeologist who is working on a project called Silver to the Seaway to encourage people to venture off into the towns along the way. Having little enticements for the family to, you know, like turn off the, the main road and, and into that town and see what's unique about that town, um, how that town contributed in any way, shape or form to um, the story of um, Port Pirie or Broken Hill. The trail is even being developed into an augmented reality app. The way the app works is that you use your mobile phone and you trigger content along the way, along the route. There'll be an Aboriginal layer, there'll be an ore layer, uh, a rail layer, uh, a tourism layer. So what was it like back then for passengers? Vicky South is a volunteer at the National Trust Museum, a special place that tells the stories of Port Pirie's people and its industries, including smelting, railway and shipping. Each conductor had their own little shape um, and so your ticket, which you would present at the end of your journey, would be scrutinised by another guard at the other end and he would see that you had an appropriate ticket for the train because of the little hole that was punched in it. Port Pirie is a regional service centre with mining and exploration at its core. A strong base and a ready workforce, so why not explore its mineral-rich history for yourself? You never know what you might see in Port Pirie. <laughs>